Um, there were lots of parts to that. Let me go. Um, what was the first? <laughs> how was the relationship between Jacob and Rosie? How, where did you create that? Since it wasn't a real animal and a real Rosie. Oh, you know. the question, the, uh, the first part of it was how did I create the relationship between, uh, in Water for Elephants, between Jacob and Rosie because it wasn't based on a real animal. Um, during the course of my research and reading the historical texts about the circus, most of the really interesting stories involved elephants. And so I sort of boiled them all down into the, the elephant that is Rosie. And uh, although she may not have been based on a real elephant, by the time I was finished writing the book, she was definitely real to me. And in fact, I missed her for a long time after I finished <laughs> writing the book. Uh, so in fact, going to the film set was absolutely spectacular. And um, you know, it was, it was, I never in a million years, never in a million years would have expected that it would be made into a movie. And uh, you asked also about the cameo. Yes, how was that? So the cameo, we, my whole family got cameos in the movie. <laughs> And um, so we're part of we're part of various crowd seats, but then there was there's one scene where Rosie is raiding the produce stand at a greengrocer's, and Bob Pattinson runs through the crowd, elbowing people out of the way, and he elbows a woman out of the way, and he says, "Excuse me, ma'am, that's me." <laughs> <laughs> is there a question here? 